Okay guys, let's do this. They have literally just dropped the, Aven the Avengers 4 trailer literally about 23 minutes ago so I stopped everything that I was doing and now we are going to do a reaction to this. So yes, let's get this on. I love the first part. Um, I thought it was a very great film. Way bloody better than The, the Last Jedi. I am sorry, but that film was shite. <laughs> So yeah, um, the Avengers, it's a, uh, the last Avengers film was a good way on how to subvert, um, subvert your audience expectations and do it right. Um, but I knew, like I had a feeling that Thanos was going to win. I thought it was the only logical way to end it on, on being a part one. I thought that, I thought it was the only way they, they could possibly, possibly end such a great film and they did it. So I'm, um, no more talking, let's just do this. We go. Oh, this ominous music. This thing on. Hey, Miss Potts. If you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Part of the journey is the end. Just for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of. Rescue is more fun than it sounds. Oh, okay. Food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. That'd be it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. It's always you. did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. And then, how many of them die off the of stuff, like people on life support, you know? We lost, all of us. We lost friends, we lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. Yeah. Where this the, is the fuck have you life. been? This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Come on, Hawkeye, just show my bad ass. Do it doesn't. the Wasp film so now we know why that he was like why he was not in the event thing and how he managed to survive the snap because he was trapped um but yeah thank I'm so happy now that we get to see Hawkeye again because like he doesn't get much credit like fam he needs more credit um but yeah oh I enjoyed that. I, I enjoyed that a lot. I seen a lot of rumours about it being called Endgame. So it's nice to, you know, finally have that confirmed. You know, I think Endgame is a nice way to put it. And um, we're all going to have to start placing our bets who's going to die. Um, the, um, I think Cap's going to have to die. They're going to need a, uh, that gravity, you know. Um, that's going to have to have consequences. Like, you know, the whole thing with superheroes where, like, they die and then they come back. So the, uh, I think that... I think it is the end and all for Iron Man and Cap, I don't know. Like I kind of stay away from like all the updates in terms of Marvel and so social media and that there. But um, I don't, I definitely don't see Cap surviving this. So there's going to be tears shed at the cinema in, in this film. Not, well, I'm, I, well I, I imagine some people cried at the end of the first part film with Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to probably have to watch it again. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it, but it's a nice... Uh, t it didn't... 
what I liked, what I liked is that it didn't show a lot. It managed, like, you know, this was like, what, two minutes? Over like two minutes and they didn't show a lot of it. Which is nice, because like, um, they managed to keep it minimum, but still you got all these expectations. So, um, I, I am very hyped. It's nice that they fit, but I'm glad they showed Hawkeye and Ant-Man, because that's really just what I wanted to see. But yeah. Uh, post your comments down below what you thought and I'll see you next time.